Today, I want to talk to you guys about just being authentic. Um, overall, like uh, before we get off this phone call, um, and I couldn't help but think, I, and as much it's funny because even the comment I'm, I'm about to say, like about refs, for example, with the NFL or NBA or any sport that you could think of, they have to make a call just like you have to make a call. And when you make a call, one side is going to be happy. The other side is going to hate you just like a ref. And you have to um, get to that point in your life where you have to be OK with that. You have to be that ref in order for you guys to be authentic, um, you know, and, and the thing is that until you get to that point, nothing in your life will shape into place or work until you are authentic to yourself. And uh, before we kind of dig a little bit in uh, authentic basically means being genuine. Uh, that's, that's what it comes down to is just being, being yourself. And, and I, I was, kind of based on like stuff that I've heard podcast, uh, reading, uh, Googling. I'm a big Google guy. Like if, you know, whenever something gets in my head, I start reading, like you just have to study, right? Like study, 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 seven study. things when it comes to being authentic. Um, and the first one I couldn't help, but keep it real. So if you guys are taking notes, uh, keep it real is number one. Um, the truth always comes out at the end, guys. Uh, it doesn't. So you don't have to prove anything to anybody. Matter of fact, prove it to yourself. Anytime that you feel like you have to prove something, prove it to yourself. Prove it to the positive people in your life. I've said that before. I've said it a lot of times where you have a lot of people to prove right. Like this group right here, we're cheering for you. For you. We, you, you have to prove us right. Don't focus on the people that you have to prove wrong. And that's that's how you keep it real to yourself. Um, also, uh, number two, take personal inventory once in a while. I want you guys to ask yourself questions to discover when you're putting a mask or betraying your core values, because that's when you're faking the funk. If you're betraying your core values, when you get clear on those values, you'll find it easier to make decisions with your authentic self. Uh, also track, uh, who you're with when you feel good, when you feel excited, when you feel positive, um, I want you guys to start tracking that and also track the opposite track when you, when you're around somebody and they make you feel low, they make you feel negative. Who are you with at that time? Uh, it's important to track those things because it does affect your, uh, like, again, we're rubbing energies here. We're, we're rubbing elbows with people. And if you're rubbing it with fake, motherfuckers that's what you're going to become so uh number three be present and by that i mean don't get distracted by mental voices that you hear in yourself uh or reacting to external situations i want you guys to practice to take a deep breath or check in with yourself uh, throughout the day as needed uh during this pause you'll be able to check yourself and be mindful to see if you're being authentic uh you'll be able to literally tell yourself okay am i fucking Keeping it real right now or not? Number four, uh, build social, like a, a social support system, we'll call it. Um, you know, uh, it goes back to who are you around? Uh, we need to have the courage to say no to the things and people that are not serving us. Uh, if So if you want to rediscover yourself uh, and live your life with, uh, with being authentic, you have to have the courage to say no to things and people that are not serving you. It, you know, it's something that uh, I, it was a quote that I had um, in, on, on one of my many quotes that I found, you know, about being real and authentic. Um, be intentional when you give your time and attention to the people who not only are true to themselves, but also support you in your journey. So, uh, you know, that that's a that's a massive one. Uh, who Who's in that boat, right? Who's who's in that boat ride that you're on on, on your boat? Um, and of course, surround yourself with people who encourage your big dreams rather than shoot them down, uh, walk away from naysayers. You know, all this should be repetitive. Connect with a coach uh, and or a mentor who can help you navigate your path to self-discovery. Check in with your relationships from time to time. Like all, those are all things that you can uh, you can start doing. And 
even uh you know the whole coach thing like uh uh you know i'm uh right now right like we have and we have to measure this and monetary wise is the what the easiest way to measure where you're at and uh even with me like I i'll i'll be the first one to say okay i'm where i am right now but that's not the same billy that's gonna make a hundred million that's not the same billy that's gonna become a billionaire so what coach do i need in my life who what people do i need in my life um i have this uh podcast dropping uh here not in a few episodes and when you know one of the things that uh that this dude said man he said if what, what and he said he learned it from a coach or somebody that he was around that uh basically they said stop hanging around people that make less than a hundred thousand dollars a year because those people are people that will have money problems. They're gonna have stress. It's it's like a given, like it's a thing. Uh, and you guys can control that. You guys are on your way. You're obviously working on that. If you're not making that yet, surround yourself with people that are like that because the conversations will be different, right? Like we just got done talking about that. So uh, I can't wait for you guys to listen to that podcast. It was, it was fucking amazing. Um, and then where are we at? Number five, um, you know, communicate. Uh, and, and again, I'll be a liar if my wife had, had, hadn't been the one that has pushed me to communicate better. I'm still learning. I'm definitely not the best communicator out there. Uh, and communication guys is meaning just speak the truth. Just, just say what you, what you got to say. Um, communication leads you to live an authentic life. Um, and there's a research that shows that nine out of 10 conversations miss the mark. Uh, that the other person fails to understand our int intent intentions, resulting in miscommunication, conflicts, and confusion. Uh, so there's some people that are aggressive communicators, and they actually fail to listen. And if you guys didn't know, listening is a skill. Listening is an art. So you have to learn to listen. That's also part of communication. Um, most people hold back sharing opinions. Uh, they hold back to tell you what they think. You have to be able to say how you feel, uh, say what you think. Like it, it's important. There, there shouldn't be filters with all that. Uh, sadly, nowadays, guys, as we know, social media, it is dangerous when somebody's not being authentic. Uh, again, number one was keep it real, right? Like, uh, because the truth always comes out, guys, and it could be a day later, it could be a month later, it could be a year later, it could be a decade later. And I'm telling you by experience, like the truth will come out. Uh, and if you're being authentic, you have nothing to worry about. Um, whenever you talk, say it how it is. Uh, again, most people are not able to take the truth. If they're not able to take it, then you probably are around the wrong people. Uh, you know, that that's definitely a, a reality. Uh, take, uh, daily action towards being authentic. That's number six. Take daily action towards being authentic. Uh, you know, we, we've talked about it before that the small things lead to big things, right? Um, so small moments, the things you say, your decisions, and most importantly, your actions are what adds up to who you are at the end to being authentic. So commit to those small tasks. The small tasks will become big ones in the future. If you come through for yourself with those small tasks, you are being authentic. It's that simple. Just those little things. Um, and then the last one, I take a step back and just, just to gain perspective, just to, to kind of look around, right? Um, remove yourself from a situation that you are overthinking to find a solution, uh, a lot of times uh, we were just talking about that, uh, even with Tony, right? Like take a break and do something fun, right? Like if that room where you're at is kind of making you feel some, some type of way, do something fun, do something different. Uh, and the funny thing is when you do that, the answers will flow to your mind. Uh, they, they start coming to you. Uh, and so when you take a step back, know that there's always two sides to every story. Um, I, I go back to uh, that that idea that I've been kind of telling you guys where, you know, if there's a millionaire arguing and then there's a Walmart employee, who do you think has done the more work on themselves out there out of those two people? And we're not judging, right? Like we're, we're literally the facts that that is how you find out who is right on an argument. So I want you guys to become that millionaire in every argument that you have and let those people be the Walmart employee. 
Because if, if, if you start looking, I mean, who has invested in themselves between that argument, right? Between those people. Um, so uh, it, it's definitely something that I want you guys to be mindful. How can you become that better person in every argument uh, that is being authentic? And when you learn how to be real, you create genuine relationships with people. You express yourself, honesty. Uh, and, you know, therefore you start attracting like-minded people who support you for who you are because you're just being yourself and you trust yourself and know that you can overcome obstacles when pursuing your goals. So then your self-confidence goes up anyways. So now you're more confident because you're being yourself. Uh, most people nowadays with social media are fake because they believe that, you know, it's, it's what others want to see, right? They, they change their behavior to match a particular situation. They have something to prove. Uh, you know, it's funny. Somebody sent me a message. This was probably, you know, a few months ago, or probably over a year ago or something, you know, that like one of my videos when I was running, like, you know, Oh, why is your hair like that? Or, you know, or, or something. And I'm like, the fuck, I'm like, you literally just missed the whole the whole point of this video that maybe could have <laughs> changed something in your life. Right. Like, uh, but again, if I'm being authentic, I, I literally just left it. I'm like, okay, that you're definitely <laughs> are somebody that I want to stay away from. Um, and, uh, so, you know, and especially social media, that that's the biggest thing, but I think all of, all of you guys here are being authentic with everything that you guys post and keep that up because you, at that point you have nothing to hide you know, for other people there, you know, they're because you already have the odds against you. That's the thing. And people want to find that one thing like, Oh, there it is. Right. Like uh point. Um, and a study shows that people who are more authentic feel happier and they have a higher self-esteem. Hmm. That's duh. Right. I hope that's a duh. Uh, another study shows that showing up as the real you brings greater satisfaction and lower stress levels in a particular role as a friend, employee, or any other role that you play. Uh, research also shows that being authentic increases satisfaction in romantic relationships. And I think my wife can bow for that, right? Hopefully. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she hangs up right now. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, that, that was a cool research. Um, and I, I couldn't help but think also like, OK, what's the opposite of that? And uh, as I was kind of putting this together, I'm like, OK, let me do a little research on that on just overall what I've experienced. So obviously, if you're not authentic, you're uh, fake. Right. And so I came up with like four things, which there were so many in my head. But I'm like, all right, let me I got to narrow this down. And, uh, you know, the first one was like fake people don't express their emotions freely and clearly. That's what, fa you know, and it goes back to that communication. Uh, number two, they're not interested in learning from their mistakes, uh, which on the other end, it's like it's either a win or a lesson. Right. That's the other thought of that. And but fake people, they're not interested in learning from their mistakes. Uh, number three, they're inconsistent. Uh, one thing on one of the podcasts I got coming guys, uh, you know, we talked about it on there is when you're inconsistent at home, for example, uh, everywhere else is inconsistent. Your business is going to be inconsistent. You're like, literally you could point out any little thing and you're going to be inconsistent. It all starts at home with, with your people, with the family, uh, whoever you're around first, uh, those are the, you know, we talk about those mad small tasks start there start there and the rest will show uh but how you do something is how you do everything boom fire right there and hey, then the last the first one, one what was the Go first ahead. one what was the first the, one the first one is fake people don't express their emotions freely and clearly and uh you know it goes back to the other end and you know when you're authentic and you say how it is that's where you become that ref that i talked about at the beginning remember where you say how it is yeah half of the people are gonna like you the other half will uh, just like when a ref makes that call, half will like you, half will will not, right? They'll boo you and and all this negative stuff. Um, so, and then um, the last one, uh, number four, they don't do what they say they're going to do. Uh, they don't do what they say they're going to do. Um, and I go back to communication because uh, life, nothing's perfect. So if you aren't able to do something that you committed yourself, especially in business, because in business... <laughs> you have a lot of middle man playing in the middle between you. So like, unfortunately you can't 
you know, like for example, with Joe, if, if he's cleaning a car and he has one of his employees doing it and they mess something up at the end, it's Joe responsibility. Right. And, and you have to own that. Um, so it's not always going to be perfect, but as long as you own it and <laughs> guess what, how do you fix that is communication. Let it be known. Hey, this is why, right. This is what happened, but here we are. So, um, so overall guys, uh, yeah, just be authentic to yourself. Um, enjoy where you are at now. Uh, don't try to be something you're not. Others will catch on. Don't try to, you know, outlive somebody or social media wise, right? Like you want to do it bigger than the next person or, you know, cause, uh, uh, when you do, uh, you start faking it to others and, uh, you know, again, you become something you're not and you're trying too hard to impress others to keep up or whatever. I go back to owning your story own your story that the crazy thing guys is that all of you guys every single one of you guys here is original you guys were made by god to be original like literally there's literally nothing uh the same about you there's only one you so own your story like that's the best thing you could do sad thing guys is most people die not knowing that there's only one of them because guess what? They're following the herd and all the other stuff we just talked about. So again, own your story, man. Your, your story is beautiful. Um, be yourself like the way you would dance behind a closed door. That's what the world wants to see. That's when they're going to start buying from you because you are being authentic. You're being yourself. And you know what, guys? It, it takes a lot of courage to learn how to be real. But when you do what you say you're going to do, uh, you you build a life that brings you joy and meaning and at the end more people will like you and when more people like you business wise what's going to happen they're going to buy from you so uh be authentic that's all i got to say hopefully that helps some of you guys and i would love to hear some quick feedback on it or any experiences or what you know something that came to your head i got something quick uh billy to say um and, and fellas, it's like this, as you grow, I'm 60 years old and I have less and less and less of those negative people around me. So as you grow and as you build your life, you're going to find out it does get easier. You just have less of those people and more positive people around you. So you're correct. Yes. Boom. Did somebody else have something to add, say, comment? Kinda kind of kind of going off vcg there you know i think negative people are always gonna find you or you know surround mm -hmm. you'll always be surrounded by negative people but it is upon yourself to really go find those people that are positive you know like we are putting ourselves here you know this isn't an accident this isn't something we just randomly came across you know we are putting our time our effort mm -hmm. we are we know what we're doing when we're coming here and i think you know focusing on that uh, staying away from those people because they're always going to be there. VCG can attest to that, right? doesn't matter how long you've been on the planet. They're going to be around us, but we got to make sure we're, we're putting that effort into to, to putting ourselves in that position as well. Because mm -hmm. it's Love not it, just going to come to you. It's not just going to positive people aren't just going to come to you. You got to, mm -hmm. I just got, you know, for, I guess, for example, as I'm speaking out loud, this is coming to me. The two lunches that I have, I called those guys, you know, I didn't, they didn't call me, mm. you know, but, but they're more than willing to share what they know with me. You know, they're more than willing to help me, um, you know, but you gotta, you gotta speak up. And why? Cause you're being authentic. You're not going over there like, Hey, I know this, I know everything. So I'm faking the funk, right? Like, no, you're, you're <laughs> just being yourself like, Hey, this is where I'm at. And like I said, yeah, you know, where I'm at right now, the, the person I want to become. And again, you can measure it by millions, billions, whatever, like however you want to measure it. I have to become something different in order for me to reach that. Yeah. And and I think that's what people forget. It, you know, it, it's like, keep it real. Like, no, like literally, even when you die, you could have died better. Like, think mm -hmm. about that. <laughs> yeah. Like when you die, you could have died better. Like, mm -hmm. the, like literally like you that's that's the the mentality you got to have is that you're never Man. and and once you get satisfied guy once you get that and we'll say that word that i hate is comfortable you start dying man and and so i i think being authentic comes from that like again we talked a little bit about it right like or, or i talked about it like nobody knows who they are until they get in the self-discovery journey that we're on that we're on and most people don't even get on that journey ever 
So, and, and those are the people that fake it the most that think they're the realist. Like it's crazy. But uh, who else has something take, to add, man? Gotta <laughs> take those steps. You know what? What got us here won't get us there. So Boom. you got to continue to make uncomfortable decisions because mm-hmm. all the decisions that we did already is <coughs> got us here. But mm-hmm. we all know we're we're all trying to get here. That's again mm-hmm. why we're in this position and why we're on this call. Boom! Love I, it, man. I work, <clears throat> I work in a you know a pipe mill. It's the oil and gas industry. I come I come across the most stubborn miserable fucking people you could think of and shit because it's long hours and when i walk out there my my, my shoulders are up my head's how high like i don't get none of that negativity because everybody knows me and how i present myself and they know if they come at me with some bullshit i'm gonna call them out so yeah 100 percent, be authentic man yeah mm. that's that's true it's just Boom. so easy to like lie you know what i mean like lie about any i could have sat here and been like you know i could be a lie me saying like oh i got those three places rented out of the four but why like why would i do that it's it's only gonna hurt me more by lying because now i'm like well shit now i gotta hurry up and rent out these three places but it makes me look good in that moment you know what i mean so like that's not being authentic it's but you guys know the last two weeks it's been shit i gotta go meet these people i gotta go get this paperwork like it I had to take the steps to get there, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just so easy to say it, but you actually take the steps. You know what I mean? Talked about that. Take the steps, not the elevator, right? Like always take the step, not not the elevator. Who else has something to say? Say it, say it. Let's let's figure it out. Yeah. The be present. Uh, That's something that I've learned a long time ago that, you know, what happened in the past or 10 seconds ago is already gone. So that fear mm-hmm. and all that baggage that comes with it, that should already be gone. And you don't know what's happening 10 seconds from now. So mm-hmm. get your focus and be present in the moment and don't fear because you're always fearing about something you don't even know. Yeah, that's all fear is, is the unknown. So uh, be present in that moment with the people that you're in touch with and you have better relationships, be present in your business or, you know, just even when you're just having your alone time, be present with yourself. Mm. Uh, it's just crucial. So uh, man, love it. Love it, man. And, and you made me think of something that I read that, uh, said basically, you know, uh, the people that fear the people that worry the most are the people that don't have a purpose. Sure. And, and that, that hit me hard, man. That hit me hard because I'm like, because when you have a purpose, like all of you guys right now have a purpose with your business, with your family, everything that you guys got going on, uh, therefore the fear decreases. Uh, you're not worried about it as much because now you you you're you're you have this shine, and and we've talked about it in this group. People that come in this uh, this group, right? They come in, you could feel that energy, right? That that drain or whatever whatever situation you were in, whatever people you had around, and then you come in, in this group and. A few months later, there's this shine because now you're getting focused on that purpose. You're you're you, so therefore you're going to have less worry. And uh, I can't help but get sad, guys. Every time I hear stuff like that, you know, it, it's I get happy selfishly for myself, but I get sad for the world, for the 97 percent of people that don't have this kind of information. And they're the ones that are worried the most. They're the ones that are. And again, it goes back to like the whole money thing, like all oh, your you're worried about this light bill. Well, guess what? If you had some kind of purpose that you were pursuing that you were working on, you probably wouldn't have that issue. Like the money thing goes away after a while when you're focused on a purpose. And, but again, uh, when I, when I read that, it hit me hard. It hit me really hard. So um, who else has something to add? Yeah. One thing, especially for like some of you younger guys and stuff and, and V knows what I'm talking about. Just don't be scared of evolving. And becoming a different person on a daily basis. You know, I'm not the same person I was yesterday. Definitely not the same person I was six months ago, six years ago. You know, most of the guys that have been in this group with us since the beginning. None of us are the same as when we started. You know, so don't be scared of that unknown and, and evolving and stuff. I'm so fucking thankful I came and tell you that I came into this group and and I started changing about a year and a half, two years ago, just on my own. Because you know, Billy and I have talked about it, you know, especially being in like franchise uh, car dealerships and stuff. Like Richard talked about all the negativity. 
those are a bunch of negative motherfuckers. They hate it. They're like you, Richard. You work 12 hours, 14 hours. Everybody yells at you. Everybody bitches at you and stuff. You know, like, you just have to understand that, you know, you're going to evolve. You're going to change. You're going to be better if you want that. You know, um, you know, I'll, I'll throw this out. I mean, Steven, you know, he left the group for a little bit trying to figure something out. And he fucking knew he was, he was missing something. And he can see it still with 100%. all of us evolving every all the time with all of our you know things were put on social media and he he wanted that back again 100 mm. you know? i knew i was missing something that was and then it's just a whole it's a whole nother whole nother ball game these last <laughs> 60 days man it's crazy it's crazy Love it, and man. it's because of, it's because of this you know this yeah. is a huge part of that for sure huge, so crazy. huge yeah. part of that every every See, the time whole thing about Every time Sorry. we get out of this call, man, I, I'm like, I can't sleep. It's like midnight. I'm like, God dang it. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Our head is, are you going to say something? No, well, I mean, it's just like, well, this goes back to what everybody's saying about how from the beginning to now, the glow. Um, I just think it's, um, it's cool to see, cool to be a part of, um, just watching everybody's glow, I guess, what you want to say. Mm -hmm. Um, just going back to how it was and how Steven did come back, how he left and came back. Um, but it's either here or there. Everybody's got their own battles. They got to, they got to go through or trials and tribulations, whatever you want to call them. But <clears throat> the main thing just, is Steven come back with fire though too, baby. Yeah. Yeah, he, <laughs> he did. did he really did. He came back and he, he realized made up for that. it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, every cool, time man. Steven has Appreciate some good that. good feedback every time. And so keep that coming, mm -hmm. Steven. Yeah. And, and Richard, like you were saying, when you're working, when you have to step out on the floor and talk to the people, you were talking about how you have to change your posture and how you have to, you know, put your, your put yourself up. I think you were saying something like that, right, Richard? Yeah, yeah. Cause there's like a lot of people know not to hit me with the negativity. There's only so much that I I I, I could be open ear to somebody and hear them vent. But then they're gonna, they're gonna, their sentences and their wording is gonna get picked apart by me because I listen to what they're saying, and then a lot of times I tell them it's all based on perspective and how they interpret things. And a lot of times they interpret things wrong, and they need to focus on themselves as opposed to the guy next to them that has the easier job. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of that out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's funny that you say that. I think it's funny that you say that because at work, man, there's always a. Uh... I see a whole bunch of the same fucking people all the damn time because we're, I mean, I'm doing x-rays, we're in surgery, we're doing this, and then all the same fucking people. And every single day that when I go to surgery, she'll ask me, I'll ask, hey, how are you doing today? She goes, oh, I'm here. She's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I am too. She goes, yeah. Fucking can't wait till Friday. I'm like, well, yeah, okay, great. That's, that's good. You know what I hate is living the dream you know yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> people say that like you know they're just they're like and you know what's miserable. sad like <laughs> all of us here can literally say living the dream in a different tone yeah in a, and, and it's authentic in, in, in an authentic way <laughs> yeah <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that that's crazy uh and my wife actually talking about like the you know from the beginning to now uh she wanted me to, which I owe it to you guys. I'm going to put those uh, when we have special guests pop in and stuff. I'm still working on that. Uh, and one of the ones I want to upload is the one, the, the you know, the first one. Uh, I want to upload the first uh, meetup that we had because I think it's important. And maybe one of these uh, meetups will focus on that video, just watching it and kind of hearing yourself. Uh, and then literally, uh, I would be mad at you guys if you didn't hear the growth even from then. You know what I mean? So uh yeah it's exciting uh anybody else have something to add yeah uh so listen uh if you guys get a chance check out tony robbins uh he, he calls it the two millimeter shift and do any of you guys know what the two millimeter shift is the two millimeter shift is he puts his hands on his chest and all he does is he raises his chest up two millimeters totally changes the state so he says if you want to walk boss into a room just pull up your chest two millimeters totally changes your state i love that i think I, I can't was it richard maybe like one of the times i was like hey bro raise your raise your chin or something you know it, it's yeah, yeah, love yeah, it man yeah. it changes your your pers <laughs> your <laughs> the, the crazy thing about that is though too he's saying two millimeters it's not like it's a giant change it's a baby mm -hmm. 
small, change. small little changes, man. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, I might throw even this one on my YouTube just to, for people to hear it out. So if you guys are okay with that, let me know. And I'll throw this one. Cause I think, uh, there's a lot of things that people don't realize, like even with this group like this, like all the stuff that all of every single one of you guys is doing is just like huge. Like there, there's some big moves being made. And I, I don't think people realize that, uh, they see the little glimpse, right? Like, you know, your video of the day or whatever task we got going on in the group. But, um, I think, uh, I, I'm just excited to see the growth, man. And, and, you know, the more you guys grow, the more I grow. Um, and, and I feel, hope all of you guys feel the same way as a leader. That's how you guys should feel. Uh, the, the people around you need to grow in order for you to grow as well. So. Well, <laughs>